Okay, through the trees we have some bees that we're going to be removing by cutting a hole in the rooftop. And we'll see that in just a minute. Start smoking from this side, okay? Okay. You coming over? Oh wow, that's a lot. Cutting here along these tiles to make as small as hole as possible, and we'll reach through and try to get it off. If I have to cut more, we'll see. Let's hope that this whole thing isn't honeycomb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's possible after two years, this whole cavity is full. And if that's the case, we're going to have to remove these tiles, cut all this roof out, and do some extensive repair work. Yeah. So, after we did the bee removal, we took the chunks of honeycomb and I put them in the pot with this <coughs> lid on outside. I didn't have the strainer in at that time. I just had it all sitting. And what happens is this stuff that's on top in the strainer now just goes to the top. It rises up, hardens, and you can separate it from the honey. Now I've just thrown it in a strainer to allow any extra honey to drip off into the bottom of the pot. And once that happens, I'll probably let that do that for about an hour. And then I'll take a cheesecloth and the honey that's below the, the strainer, I'm just going to keep running through a cheesecloth probably about five or six times at least until I get all the little miscellaneous things like little bee parts and whatnot out of the honey and then it'll be ready to eat. Beautiful. Thank you bees. Hope you're having a great journey to your new home. All right, bye-bye. And the finished product, all this honey from those beautiful bees. We're so happy and it's so yummy and they're in a new location and all is well. All right, see you next time.